remember uh, I'll uh, I showed you that the checker having only one record so now we can check it must be having two record to verify uh, for uh, checker so checker need not to worry so uh, uh, in in case of maker maker can see uh, whatever the employee coming under him 20 30 whosoever with a flag saying that um, for whom he already been uh, submitted or feed the data and for for whom he has yet to feed for maker if some on on maker uh, sorry on checker login if nothing is coming in this table then he need not to worry that there is no action item is pending for him if something is coming here then those for those employee he has now he have to take action here you can see we have initial you know uh, initially it was a single record now it's come the second record also here he can see that approved status once he checked before he has approved all this data for this particular employee just now what you feed it's coming here in this in this uh, section so let's go uh, let me log out here for the checker screen so uh, this is the checker screen okay i can go back so uh, here uh, the back button is uh, given like you have to come back to the initial screen and you can you have to you know fit the data for the other employee so, so i'm just logging up so let's replace it yeah log out so now i logged in through the checker so now let's go and see whatever we have paid is coming or not you see so everything is coming whatever uh, the data paid by the uh, maker it's coming initially in a disable mode so maker it's it's you cannot edit anything okay so maker can directly go and see the details and he can directly go and approve it if everything is fine so let's go and check one by one so test region office we have given a regular gadgeted officer the next increment date was uh, the 3rd of january 2022 so here this test address line everything is coming if you notice the address permanent address uh, present address is also coming okay the brand number we have given that is coming the aadhaar and all these things are coming the here pan number and aadhaar so if you notice here the family member spouse father mother we have deleted few of which are not used and we have mentioned two cghs it's coming here with the dates and csma flag is there mother and sister i have added if you remember i have added the additional family member here so now leave balance it's coming like this and list of accessories it's coming so here the ltc it's coming uh, like not availed and we have given leave encasement 10 days like that so the educational details i have added with the test mark it's coming so gpf denominations gpf sun 1 and sun 2 i have given I forgot to you know put the dates see here okay now MSCP is coming here test training and test training two. everything is coming here so now being a checker if I notice something is wrong or something need to be changed I'm having the option to edit I can edit it go let's say delete delete one departmental exam delete one training okay now the gratuity since the date is not there let me put the date date is fourth okay remark remark i can get it here remark i have given so attachment is there let me put in another attachment here attachment open attach ah, 
so uh, being a checker i attach these things so here you can see uh, the only is coming uh, repeatedly so because there already data so i'm just deleting this thing okay I'm just changing this date of birth to 80. Yeah. So why I'm showing uh, showing all these things is being a checker. I can uh, we can have the option to change it. So now I'll approve it. Data successfully uploaded. Now refresh. Checker, the same one. Which one was there? I think this thing. Yeah. Yep. So if you notice this, see the date of birth we have changed to 1980. It's coming here, 1980. Then what else we have changed? Yeah. Not here. What else we have changed? Hmm. This nomination, nomination, nomination dates was blank, so I have given this nomination nomination dates here. The first MCP was there, and the, I have I've changed this. You know, I have added this make a remark. So this is what once you approve then this is final uh, so this is the end of the process so approve, approve you know make um, uh, checker can go back and he can select another one and he can do the uh, action so this is what all about the whole application uh, for the maker and checker so there might be some issues is coming uh, you know as and when it's coming almost everything is addressed now so just in case if you are getting some issues so uh, drop me an email with my uh, email id already been shared so my email id is there so you can drop me an email, uh, yeah, <clears throat> email so that i can address those issues the only thing is whenever you are uh, sending some issues uh, so please remember that the system is only knows the um, that based on the pms id without pms id i'm not in a position to you know address the issue because the, uh, everything is it's a you know based on the pms id only and i even i'm from the outside of the cpwd so uh, i might ask you a few of the details so uh, there are certain cases uh, so far i face is like uh, if some employee got transferred from one one office to another office and uh, wherein you know that particular uh, employee has to remove from that uh, office maker and checker id and he has to add in the new uh, office maker and checker id for that uh, for removing you can you can directly send me the pims id of that particular employee to remove but for addition uh, we have to we have to fill a uh, template which already been shared to everybody that template having is the pims id of the employee maker pims id of maker and checker his first name middle name last name date of birth uh, from which region he is, belongs to and what is his office name so those uh, um, uh, that particular excel set has to be filled and shared with me to uh, make the changes in the system so uh, that is what like people when people are asking i'm, I'm sending uh, those um, uh, that particular template uh, for the, uh, the so that they can fill it and send it back to me so this is what uh, all about so um, in case of any any sort of issues please feel free to hope this uh, hope this video will help you a lot and uh, you know you can go uh, you know for them back to understand this do let me know i am i am there always and uh, uh, for any technical help for any decision uh, help maybe you can you can check with uh, devendra sachan sir 
or uh, maybe Ravi Bhatnagar sir, uh, both can address you from the policy decisions. But from the technical perspective, if anything is available or anything is there, so please write to me. Thank you very much.